Here's a really simple way to draw the former Prime Minister of Libya, Muammar Gaddafi. Start with the top of the eye and close that loop almost like a noose he would use to threaten one of his many enemies with. Draw a fairly large bag underneath. Uh, he had constant death threats and rose to power through a brutal coup, so you can understand why the guy looks a little tired. Then you're going to draw a little smile to connect these massive nostrils, which he'd flare when he didn't approve of something, which was pretty often. Don't worry if you make a mistake, Gaddafi himself made plenty of them. He was condemned by many as a dictator whose authoritarian administration violated human rights, but he had fairly nice eyes. Biographers say he was extraordinarily vain, so you want to do your best to make him look good. He spent a lot of his time in the city of Benghazi, a word you might recognize from hearing folks scream it at each other. Now let's make those eyes even more menacing. Draw some more wrinkles. Be generous with them, unlike he was with his own people, many of whom starved. Now just draw a hairy caterpillar across his face. Draw his mouth. The guy rarely smiled, if we're being honest here. He had a bizarre goatee that was like a parallel hair structure that made his whole mouth look like a three-day-old club sandwich. Then we're going to draw his chin hairs like a turtle stuck on its back, much like Gaddafi was in his final moments. Add more jowls. He was a bit of a fat man despite the fact that he was always running from his own people, authorities, and the truth. We're just trying to capture his essence here, much like he was eventually captured by the Misrata militia, eventually leading to his death. There's even a video of it online you can search. It appears to show Gaddafi being poked in the anus by some sort of stick or knife. Then he's pulled out on the front of a pickup truck and his semi-naked, lifeless body just kind of lay there for a while. Okay, moving on to the hair. Now you got a Gaddafi. You should be proud of yourself. Even though he shouldn't, he killed tens of thousands.